Yer, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy B Cans, and today I'm a big sports fan. But you know what time it is? It's time for March Madness season. I'm gonna give y'all the predictions, the breakdowns of what I think is going to happen during March Madness. I'm so happy for it to be back. First and foremost, that is one thing. Second thing is I'm a huge like basketball, football guy. So you know, March Madness is the thing that like brings everyone together. Even if you're not a really good bas, even if you're not a basketball fan, you like to fill out these brackets. So. Yeah, I don't know much about the college basketball season this year, but um, we're going to just take a deep dive look into see what I think is going to happen. So, uh, I think this is Norfolk State and Appalachia State and Gonzaga. I know Gonzaga is undefeated, and I believe they'll move on to the next round. That's an that's a easy one. That's an easy one. I truly think that Gonzaga... Well, uh, we'll see. We'll see in a little bit. Oklahoma and Missouri is actually a pretty close matchup, but I'm going to go with Oklahoma here. I think Oklahoma got a better team overall than Missouri. Barely, but I think that could be it. Uh, we have an upset prediction right here. Upset bound because it is uh, UCBS. I don't remember who they are, but they could be very upset potential against Creighton. But I'm going to go with Creighton here. I don't think Creighton's going to lose this. I, that, but it is very predictable. They, this is one of the upsets that I think can happen. I have a twelve. I have a twelve upset. I have a. I cause I already know how I usually work, so I I expect an upset. Upsets always happen, so I expect upsets to happen. Virginia Ohio. Now this one, this is gonna be a good game. But I think Virginia got that one in the bag. Uh, I believe Ohio's defense can slow them down a little bit, but. I think Virginia is just a good team all around. I think they can go ahead and get themselves a good little run. Ohio will give them a good set of run of their money, but I think Virginia is going to win. USC and Drake, uh, USC, Wichita and Drake. I think Wichita is going to win this, but I got USC winning. Evan Mobley's just been a beast all around. I just don't think he's going to get bounced in the first round like that. You know, I think he's going to start. He's going to star in this. Uh, playoffs so i expect him to do very good in march madness kansas and eastern washington i think now this one i can see washington winning but i think kansas is just too good for them to not to lose that one so i got kansas i can see that happening but i think kansas got that one in the bag you know move out the way uh next up we got oregon and vcu and it's my first upset uh, if you don't know, I'm a, uh, we love VCU. Uh, that's one of the colleges my friend goes to. And it's like, they went on that maculous run. I don't think Oregon can last with them, to be honest. I think VCU should have been a higher seed. So I think VCU got that one in the back. And then finally, Iowa versus Grand Canyon. I'm gonna go with Iowa here. Uh, we're just gonna move one-on-one. -on -one. So let's go to the south side of things. We got Baylor versus Hartford. That's an easy one. I think Baylor's gonna... Mm, wipe the floor with them. I think Wisconsin going to, well, that could be North Carolina, actually. I think North Carolina hasn't been as good as they supposed to be, but I think they can sneak one in. I think they can sneak one game in. Now, this is my first upset. I think Wintarp, it's something about this team that says upset over Villanova. I just see it happening. I feel like Wintarp is one of those teams like people are not talking about. And I can see them upsetting this. I think they're going to... Well, you'll see in a little bit. You'll see what I think. Uh, Purdue versus North Texas. This one, I see a lot of people picking North Texas here. But I think Purdue is just too good to not lose against North Texas. I think Purdue is a very solid team. And a very school program all around. I think Utah State is going to upset Texas Tech here. And my valid reason is... I think Utah State... Their team is just... I just like how they looking right now. So I think Utah State going to get that win. Arkansas and Colgate. This is my first like major upset. I think Colgate's going to beat Arkansas. I just do not see Arkansas getting through a lot of time. I don't think they're going to make the Sweet 16. I can see them making this round, but I don't think they're making this round. So I think you I think Colgate is going to be the mega upset that's going to break everyone's bracket here cuz I feel like a lot of people going can't are can't Arkansas, but I think Colgate is the team you got to watch out for. It's an Ivy League school, so the Ivy League schools always give somebody an upset. Next up, we got Florida versus Virginia Tech. Uh, very close one. I'm going to go Virginia Tech here. 
Uh, it, this one could go either way. It was just a coin flip, in my opinion. So I'm going to go Virginia Tech on that one. And then Ohio State, I don't know what the heck that school is. I never heard of you, but I can see you in it, but Ohio State. Let's see. Now we're going to the east side of things, Michigan. Like, that's an easy one. I think St. Bonaventure is going to be LSU. Uh, St. Bonaventure was looking very good early on in the season. So, yeah, I've been looking. That's one of the teams I've been keeping up with. Georgetown, congratulations for getting to the bracket. I think they're going to beat Colorado here. Uh, there's a thing where I saw that Georgetown can lose, but, you know, I just have a feeling about Georgetown this season. I think they can put teams out of their money, run for their money. So I think Georgetown going to take down Colorado with ease. Florida State over UNC Greensboro. Um, I've been seeing Florida State a lot. I think Florida State is a very solid team, and people are very uh, – y'all are sleeping on Florida State here. I mean, it's the four, number four seed, but a lot of people don't respect Florida State. I think Florida State could give teams a run for their money. BYU versus, I think this is going to be UCLA versus Missouri State or Mississippi. I don't know which one it is, but I'm going to go BYU here. Uh, I think BYU is a solid team all around. I just don't see them losing this matchup. Texas, uh, I, I don't, I think this album, album all Christian, I want to say, but I think Texas got that one in the bag. UConn versus Maryland. I think UConn can win that. I I I have some I have strong opinion about UConn this year. It's just something about them. And Alabama, Iona, that, that's an easy matchup. Uh, Illinois versus they're the number one seed. Um, I'm very shocked about seeing that. So I'm gonna go Illinois. I, I I haven't kept up with Illinois basketball at all, so I need to I want to see what their major wins have been. Lost to Baylor, Michigan. Okay, okay. So solid wins, solid wins all around. I don't think they should be the number one seed, but that's just me. Loyola Chicago, sister Jean all day. I have a feeling about Loyola Chicago. If you don't know, I predicted them to make the final four when they made the final four that year, so I was very excited about that. I think they could give teams a run for their money again. Sister Jean going to the games. I see Loyola Chicago making another run. Tennessee versus Oregon State. Close, but I'm going to go with Tennessee here. I think Tennessee is a very good, solid team all around, and I don't see them losing that matchup. Now, this one is the toughest game to predict because Liberty is, oh, that team is, is very underrated, but you're going against Cade Cunningham, the number one pick of the draft. I want to say this is going to be an upset. I do want to say I, I this is the game that that is the hardest one for me to pick. I'm going to have to go with Oklahoma State, though. I think Kay Cunningham is just too good. I think he's just too good of a stud all around. As a star player, as the projected number one pick, I cannot see him losing in the first round. Even though I like Liberty's team, I think Oklahoma State got that, but barely. I think they win by a game winner. Uh, San Diego State kicking on Syracuse. I'm going with the Cuse here. I think Syracuse is a team... You know, they didn't have a very good season, but when it comes to playoff, to, like, not playoff, March Madness time, they they come in together. So, I think they can take down San Diego State like that. Uh, West Virginia. Uh, Moorhead State's been very good, but I think West Virginia, just a good team all around. And then, I'm going to go Clemson. Even though they're like a football school, I think Clemson can take down Rutgers with ease. And give me Houston over Cleveland State. However, I can see Cleveland State upsetting Houston. I truly see it. I can truly see it. All right, Gonzaga and Oklahoma. Give me Gonzaga, the undefeated. I think Gonzaga can make a valid run here. I think I see a lot of people choosing Gonzaga this year because they're undefeated. And so far, they, they, they've proven the case so far. Uh, Give me Virginia over Creighton. Even though Creighton always is like a solid team to move on, I just I think Virginia is a better team overall. So let me get Virginia there. Uh, I think Evan Mobley is going to make the Sweet 16. I truly do. I think USC is going to knock out Kansas in that second round. 
a very bold prediction of me, but I think it's going to happen. And I think VCU is going to knock out Iowa. I think VCU is going to make a run. They're going to make a run. Make it to the Sweet 16 at least. I can see it happening. It's either, I think, Oregon or VCU. No, I think VCU or Iowa is going to make the Sweet 16 out of these out of these teams right here. So I think VCU got that one. Even though Iowa's been very good, I think VCU as a team has come together very nicely in that A-10. So it's going to be very good. Next up, we got Baylor versus North Carolina. Give me Baylor on that one. Uh, I don't think North Carolina can hang with them as much. And North Carolina has been struggling a lot this year. So I'm surprised they even made the tournament. But I think Baylor can move on without it being very troublesome. You know what I noticed? We don't have Duke. That's crazy. Uh, next up, we got Purdue versus Winthorpe. Give me Winthorpe. I think Winthorpe makes the Sweet 16. Winthorpe, I think they could knock out Purdue. I think they could take Villanova out. And they're going to go ahead and play Baylor in the Sweet 16. Utah State is going to make the Sweet 16. They're going to beat Colgate. Colgate is going to have that one major upset win, but I don't think them, they're going to move on to that next round. I really schools 10 to usually win a matchup and then lose that next round. So that's why I think Utah State is going to move on to that next bracket. And then give me Ohio State over Virginia Tech. I love Virginia Tech. Don't get me wrong, but I think Ohio State's just too good as a team all around to not make it to the Sweet 16. Let's see. Out of the East, St. Bonaventure versus Michigan. This is upset worthy. This is very upset worthy, but I think Michigan can hold out for that one. Give me Florida State over Georgetown. I, at first, when I thought about this matchup, I was going to go Georgetown. But the more I think about it, Florida State has too, too many good players that I've seen. And I think Florida State can knock down Patrick Ewing and Georgetown here. So that's the end of their run. BYU versus Texas. Give me Texas. I think Texas finally got the team that they need. I think Shaka Smart is, play, is having that team play tremendous. And I think Texas is going to make that. UConn over Alabama. Now, this one's kind of a hot take here, but every time UConn makes this type of Sweet 16 when they're not, not Sweet 16, but the uh, March Madness, they use, they tend to go to the Sweet 16, especially in the number seven slot. Remember the last time they were like number eight or nine and they won the whole thing? I think UConn can make a whole run. Yeah, it's been a while for UConn. I think UConn can make it to there. They're a very well all-around team. Lloyd Ola Chicago is my major upset here. I think they're going to knock out Illinois. It's always they're always a number one team that always gets knocked out early. I think it's going to be Illinois here. I think Lloyd Ola Chicago, Sister Jean's there. I don't see them losing that matchup. I mean, I see them losing this, but I think Lloyd Ola Chicago all around can be the major upset that breaks this part and I think Loyola Chicago is the team that is going to do it Tennessee versus Oklahoma State give me Cade Cunningham I think he's going to make the sweet 16 even though I just see Tennessee winning I just think Cade Cunningham is too good as a player to not make it to the sweet 16 it's like a Zion situation you know I think this team should at least make the sweet 16 Syracuse versus West Virginia I think Syracuse makes the Sweet 16. That's a hot take for me, but I think Syracuse is like one of the, it's always a high, a low, a higher seed team making the Sweet 16. I think Syracuse is that team this year. I think this is going to be the Cinderella story. Uh, and then finally, Houston is going to knock out Clemson. Uh, nice run for Clemson here, but I think Houston is just too good all around to not make it there. All right, now we have the Sweet 16. Give me Gonzaga over Virginia. Even though I like Virginia, the Cavaliers, I think Gonzaga can get that job done. I think, oh, that's a tough one. I think Mobley makes the Sweet, I think he makes the Elite Eight. I think USC barely beats VCU here. I can see VCU making that Final Four run again, but... I think USC can knock them out right here through it like a buzzer beater. Uh, Baylor versus Winthrop. Sorry, Winthrop. You're done. Uh, you had a very solid sweet, a very solid March Madness. You got to the Sweet 16, but I think Baylor's just too, too much out of your bracket here. Uh, Utah State versus Ohio State. Ohio State. 
I can see Utah State winning this one, but I think Ohio State just barely budges them out, which means we have Gonzaga versus USC and Baylor versus Ohio State. All right, now we're looking at the East Conference. Uh, like I said, I'm a believer in Florida State, so give me Florida State over Michigan. I trust Michigan to make the Sweet 16, but I don't trust them to beat Florida State. That's one of my gut feelings, and I think Florida State is going to make a valid run. I think UConn beats Texas here. I think UConn is going to make a run for people's money. And as you see, I have them making the Elite Eight. I see it happening. <sighs> now, this one's a tough one. Do I go K Cunningham? I go Sister Jean. I'm going to go K Cunningham. I think Cade barely makes it out of that one. Nah, I can't go against Loyola Chicago. I can't. I can't go against them. I think this is going to be the end of Kate Cunningham's run. I, th I, I just love Loyola Chicago for some reason. I just love them. They're, 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 they're too much. Too. I don't know, bro. It's just something about them this year. That screens elite four for me. Finally, Syracuse versus Houston. <clears throat> know what? I'm gonna do it. Syracuse gonna make the elite eight. That's what I, that's my feeling. I think Houston going to have a very solid run, but I think Syracuse is going to be that Cinderella story that no one talks about, and boom, they're going to make that type of run. So I think that's going to happen. Gonzaga, USC. I think Gonzaga is going to take out Evan Mobley. I think he's done right here. So very solid run for USC, but I think Gonzaga is going to take that. Baylor versus Ohio State. I think Baylor's going to barely edge that one out. It's going to be a very good game if this actually happens in real life. I think this is going to be a very... I think this might be the game of the year right here. Uh, two very solid teams. I think Baylor just barely scratches that out. Finally, Florida State versus UConn. Um, Some about... Something about Florida State, man. I think Florida State make the elite. I think Florida State make the Final Four. I think UConn's going to give them a run for their money, but I think Florida State barely make that Final Four. I think it happens. I think it truly happens. So we have Gonzaga versus Florida State, and now Baylor's going to face either Syracuse or Loyola Chicago. And I think Syracuse, well, no, give me Loyola Chicago. I think Sister Jean barely... Is going to make them get another Final Four run. It's just something about this team that screams Final Four for me. I see it happening. So now we have Gonzaga versus Florida State and Baylor versus Loyola Chicago. Uh, I think Gonzaga makes the national championship. I think they make the natty here. I think they pull that one off. Uh, sorry, Florida State. I, I enjoy you a lot, but I think Gonzaga is just too much for you. Finally, Loyola, Chicago, and Baylor. It's going to be the same situation as last time. I think Baylor going to knock out Loyola, Chicago right here. Good run for Sister Jean and the boys. A very, another Esselon season. Finally, we have Baylor versus Gonzaga. A matchup I really want to see. And I think the winner of the national championship this year, I think Gonzaga pulls off the undefeated season. I think it actually happens. I think Gonzaga is too good of a team to not... I think this might be the first undefeated team we will probably ever see in uh, March Madness that will win it all. I think it happens. I think it truly happens. I think Gonzaga pulls off that perfect season. Baylor's a good team, but I think Gonzaga finally pulls it off. And the final score, I think, is going to be 74-68 Gonzaga. And that's it for me. That's my predictions for March Madness. Comment in the chat. Let me comment. Comment in the chat, really. Say in the comments, what do you think is going to be your? What do you think is going to be the national championship, and who is your final four? But well, that is all it for me today. I'm B Kins and I'm out. I appreciate y'all stopping by and enjoying this bracket. Bye bye.